She's Jeffrey Epstein's ex-girlfriend and longtime associate. And today in court for the first day of her sex trafficking trial. During opening statements, prosecutors told the court that Ghislaine Maxwell targeted and groomed underage girls for Jeffrey Epstein to abuse over two decades. They said she put them, the alleged victims, at ease and made them feel safe. Also, that they could be sexually abused by a middle-aged man. Epstein was a convicted sex offender. Authorities say he killed himself in prison two years ago or in jail. Maxwell's attorney said that's why she's in court instead of him. Quoting now, Ghislaine Maxwell is on trial as a scapegoat for Epstein. Maxwell faces six felonies tied to sex trafficking, conspiracy, and enticing minors. She also faces two felony perjury charges set to be tried separately. She's denied it all. CBC's Valerie Castro live outside the courthouse in Manhattan. Valerie? Shep, after a morning of finalizing the jury, the opening statements began this afternoon. The prosecution began by telling the jury about one of the alleged victims in this case, saying that she met Maxwell and Epstein at a summer camp, calling the pair predators, and going on to say, quote, this defendant was trafficking kids for sex. That is what this trial is all about. The attorney went on to outline the claims and told the jury they will hear from the alleged victims as well as see photos of massage tables where the alleged abuse took place as well as flight logs from private planes to prove the girls were trafficked to various locations. The defense started out with a reference to Eve tempting Adam with an apple and saying that ever since, women have been blamed for things men have done. Maxwell's attorney went on to say, quote, she is not Jeffrey Epstein. She is not anything like Jeffrey Epstein. Epstein is not on trial. Ghislaine Maxwell was present in the courtroom and walked in without handcuffs, but was escorted by two marshals. Also in the courtroom, her sister Isabel, who came to show her support, quickly making her way into the courthouse and ignoring any questions. A woman named Sarah Ransom also arrived this morning for the trial. She claims to be one of Epstein and Maxwell's victims and is set to release a memoir entitled Silence No More, Surviving My Journey to Hell and Back. She is not expected to testify. The first witness to take the stand this afternoon was a pilot who testified he was hired by Jeffrey Epstein to fly private planes. His testimony is expected to continue tomorrow. This trial is expected to last about six weeks, and it's still unclear if Ghislaine herself will take the stand in her own defense. She has pleaded not guilty to all of the charges in this case, but she does face life in prison if convicted.